Uh, this is uh, part two of Raymond Sum. So there's two additional Raymond Sums to uh, to go over. Um, so the other uh, two Raymond Sums are going to be uh, using a midpoint, and that's if you have uh, some some function. So you're going to have a little bit wider rectangles, and the idea is you want to you want to find if this is the uh, the width of the rectangle. Is you want to choose the uh, the value that's in the middle. And that's going to be your rectangle. So some of it's going to be sticking inside, and some of it's going to be probably sticking outside. And that's how you're going to approximate your your area is using the midpoint of bigger rectangles. So that's the first one we're going to go over. And the other approximation you're going to have is that uh, is with trapezoid. So this is going to be if you pick two points on it, and you're going to create a, a bunch of trapezoids that are inside of the rectangle, or maybe sometimes it will be outside, depending on some aspects of the function. So this is going to be for a midpoint, where you choose a value that's in the middle of an interval, and then for trapezoids, which is just finding the sum of, uh, of trapezoids. So the uh, very first definition that we'll go over. Uh, deals with uh, this example, so you guys can go ahead and pause it, copy this example down. And here's the uh, definition for a midpoint: is uh, just use a rectangle, the middle, the middle value. So I've kind of already drawn out the data. I kind of just looked at where it was increasing, where it was decreasing, and just kind of eyeballed it. Now, since I'm using uh, four rectangles from uh, from zero, from one to one to nine. If I split this up into fours, that means I'm going to be counting by by twos. So that means I'm going to be using from here to here. I'm going to be using from um, three to five, from five to uh, seven, and then from seven to, to nine. So I can think of these as my separate rectangles: so rectangle A, B, C, and uh, D. Another way you can look at it is if from one to nine you have you have eight. Um, places and if you sp split it up into to fours you're going to count by two so one to three three to five and so on all right so what I want to do is now um, use the value that's in the middle so in the middle of one to three is, is two so I want to use the value at two so I mean I'm going to have my rectangle down over here if this is what the function kind of uh, looks like is I want to have my rectangle have a value based on whatever the value is for, for 2. So for rectangle A, let me go ahead and draw out all the rectangles. Now for rectangle B, um, it's the value at 4. Here's where 4 is at. Let me use this. So again, some of it's going to be sticking inside, some of it's going to be sticking outside. Rectangle B. Rectangle C has a value in the middle at 6. So it's going to be, again, some inside, some outside. And then the last one's going to be for rectangle D using the value at uh, 8. So here's the value at 8. Alright. So for rectangle A, the width is uh, 2. And I'm using the value of the function at um, 2. So the function of the value at 2 is uh, 5.6. Plus the width for uh, B is 2. And the value of the function at 4 is what I'm going to use for the height of the rectangle. And the function at 4 is uh, 8.4. Rectangle uh, C. It's going to be uh, again the width of a uh, two. So all these have the exact same width. In fact, for for midpoints, you have to have these uh, evenly spaced out to be able to find the value that's uh, in the middle. For rectangle C, I'm using the value at uh, six, and the value at six is uh, eight point five. And then rectangle for uh, D. For D, the uh, height of it is uh, eight. So 
I'll find the height, which is uh, 7.2. That's 2 times 7.2. And so I add all this up. And what I would like for you guys to do is find the value yourself. So you guys go ahead and uh, you write the value. And that's going to be, when you add all this up, that's going to be the approximation, the approximate value to the integral from, from 1 to 9. Check. So when I check the notes tomorrow, I'll be checking that you have this uh, value uh, written down. All right, the next uh, and the last Riemann sum deals with a uh, trapezoid, and I'll put up the uh, definition for a trapezoidal sum. Is you just use trapezoids to find the area. So we re recopied or rewrote the uh, area formula for a trapezoid. A trapezoid could be a uh, shape like this or like this, but ultimately they have the exact same area. Uh, formula. We find the h, which is uh, the width of each trapezoid, and then you add the consecutive sides. So you add up this side plus that side, or in this case, you add up this side and, and this side, and that gives you the, uh, the area. So for uh, this last example, here's a g of x, and I want to use a trapezoidal sum to uh, approximate this integral from one to six. So again, I've kind of resketched. The other uh, data. So the data kind of looks like this. It increases for a bit, then decreases, and then decreases for more. So for trapezoid uh, A, I start over here on the left, and I have to connect it to this point over here. And that's going to be trapezoid uh, A. Let me make this a uh, capital letter just to be consistent. Connecting uh, 2 and 3. That's going to be trapezoid uh, B. Connecting uh, 3 and 4, that's going to be trapezoid uh, C. Uh, 4 and 5, connect this way, it's going to be a D. And then 5 and 6, and trapezoid uh, E. And so from there, you just go ahead and find each individual trapezoid. Uh, the width between the first trapezoid is uh, 1, so it's going to be 1 over uh, 2. Again, what I'm doing for the width is uh, that's going to be h. So the width between these two is 1, so that's where I get this 1 from. And then adding the two consecutive sides, adding the value, um, in this case, a and b, if I'm going to add the value of the function at 1 and the height of the function at uh, 2, so I'm going to add these two values together. 1.4 plus 2.1. For a b, the uh, width again is going to be in this case uh, 1 over 2. And the height, I'm going to have to add the function value at 2 and add the function value at 3. So I'm going to add these two consecutive uh, sides. So it's going to be a 2.1 plus 1.7 for trapezoid C. The same thing, they have a width of, uh, of 1 over 2. And then for C, you add the value of 3 and 4. So hopefully by now you kind of get the hang of it, that it's just a, a matter of calculations or adding based on the table of values. This should be a 1.1, not 11. For rectangle uh, D, it's going to be, again, the width is 1 to 1 over 2. And then D, you add the value of uh, 4 and the value of uh, 5 together. The function value is so 1.1 1 .1 plus uh, 0 0.6. And the rectangle is E. The last one is going to be the width is 1 over uh, 2. The function value at a uh, 6. And the function value at 5, you add those two together. So the function value at 6, function value at 5, is going to be 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3. And then again, you add this all together. And I'll leave this up to you. But you guys go ahead and find the sum. And you guys uh, put down your, your answer. So I'll be checking that you calculate all this up tomorrow during the other notes. And we'll have a little discussion about all the different, the four types of uh, Riemann sums, the uh, trapezoid, 
the midpoint, the right rim on some, and the left rim on some. And we'll have a little class discussion uh, tomorrow.